All right, David, since we finally have you here in Vancouver, let's take a look at some of our guys on the fourth period trade watch list. And obviously, with the Vancouver Canucks, we'll begin with Tanner Pearson. Yeah, they need to have some serious negotiations to see if they want to keep him here. And I don't know if it's trending in that direction. We'll certainly find out in short order if the Vancouver Canucks are able to keep him. But I think it's trending towards him being moved ahead of the deadline. And for teams looking for a depth forward to add to their third line, possibly move up to the second, He's going to be an asset for a lot of clubs. You mentioned depth forward, and you know Brandon Sutter's been a depth guy for this Vancouver Canucks team. Could he be a guy, a veteran guy, that a team is looking to pick up? I think so, because he's another UFA at the end of the season, and I don't see a scenario where the Canucks sign him to an extension. So you're looking at teams like Florida, even Winnipeg, looking for depth up the middle that could possibly bring him in ahead of the trade deadline. Finally, a guy that spent his entire career here as a Vancouver Canucks, the only uniform he's ever known, that's Alex Ender. Would he be open to maybe possibly moving? It sounds like it, at least if there's a clear-cut Stanley Cup contender that's looking to add to their defensive core, I think you're going to see Alex Edler have serious consideration to moving his no-movement clause, or waiving it, rather. So we'll see teams, whether it's Tampa that's looking to add to their defensive core, or you see a club like Colorado, perhaps St. Louis, those could be options for Alex Edler. Dave, so thanks so much for this. Nice to have you here, buddy. Nice to be here.